Today in the Lavelli kitchen, we'll be showing you how to make dairy yogurt in a yogurt maker. Obviously, we'll be using our very own Lavelli yogurt maker for this. This is a basic dairy yogurt recipe that's simple and easy to make. So let's get straight into it. For our dairy yogurt recipe, we've got three ingredients. We've got two liters of unhomogenized milk. We recommend unhomogenized because it's been less processed. We've got 75 grams of full cream milk powder and we've got 125 mils of plain Greek store-bought yogurt. You can use any type of plain Greek style store-bought yogurt you like. Just make sure it's free from any additives, flavors or preservatives. You basically want to find a yogurt that simply has milk and cultures on the ingredients list. Step one is to heat the milk up just to below boiling point, which is between 80 and 85 degrees centigrade or 175 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. As you're heating up the milk, be sure to keep it stirred so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Some customers ask us if this step is necessary. What heating the milk up does just to below boiling point is changes the proteins in the milk, which allows for a much thicker and more consistent yogurt. So to get the best outcome and the most delicious thick homemade yogurt, it is definitely a step that we recommend doing. So that's reached about 80 degrees Celsius or 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can stop now and allow that to cool. There is one tip I wanted to share with you. If you want a really, really thick yogurt, you can actually hold the temperature where it is for between 10 to 15, even up to 20 minutes. Uh, and that'll continue to change the proteins in the milk. Um, it'll evaporate some of the water in the milk as well which will lead to a really, really thick, creamy yogurt. So it's up to you how much time you want to spend on this process. So we've allowed our milk to cool and it's sitting on approximately 40 degrees Celsius or about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're now ready to add the starter yogurt and the milk powder. First in is our milk powder. Carefully pour that in. I just want to stir that in nice and gently without aerating the milk. And next up, we're gonna put our 125 mils of store-bought Greek yogurt into our mix. And again, carefully stir that in so you don't aerate the mix. And you wanna make sure it's nicely combined. The next step is to place our yogurt mix into our two litre or 2.1 quart glass jar. Now it's really important to sterilize both the lid and the glass jar before placing the yogurt mix inside. To sterilize, all you need to do is simply boil your kettle and pour the hot water very carefully over the glass container and the lid. Please don't use any chemicals like bleach to sterilize the glass jar or any utensils as it'll affect the bacteria in the yogurt. So let's place our lid on our container. Then we're gonna put in our water into the water bath. You wanna carefully pour that in. At the back of the base of the yogurt maker, there's a tall line indicator. You simply need to make sure that you do not fill over that mark. Once you've got your water in the base, put on the cover, and then we're gonna set our controls. To set the controls, plug your yogurt maker into a power outlet, making sure the back of the cord is firmly pushed in to the yogurt maker. So now that's plugged in, you can see the control panel has powered up. The first step is to select our temperature. Click the temperature button to select your temperature. You can select from the 36 degrees, 38 degrees or 40 degrees. Once you've set your desired temperature, we're now gonna set the time. Use the time up and down button to select your desired time. Today we're gonna to be incubating for 24 hours to help maximize the good bacteria in our yogurt. Once you're happy with both the temperature and the time, simply press the confirm button. 
So that will count down and switch off automatically and give you three quick beeps when the incubation period has finished. So the incubation period has finished. We're gonna simply take the cover off the yogurt maker. Now when you're doing this, you wanna lift it up carefully because there will be some condensation that has naturally occurred on the inside of the cover. Just simply lift it up, tilt it, and just let that water roll into the base. Once that's removed, we're gonna take out the two litre glass container. Now this needs to go straight into the fridge for up to eight hours. But just to give you a quick glimpse of how the yogurt looks, we're gonna have a quick look now. So this has been incubating for 24 hours. And as you can see, it's set really firmly. We'll just get the spoon in to have a quick look. Beautiful thick yogurt. How delicious does that look? Now placing it in the fridge straight after incubation is important because it will thicken up the yogurt. We just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of how it looks after the incubation. So that's how to make yogurt in a yogurt maker using the Lavelli Pure Plus yogurt maker. Today we've set a 24 hour incubation time, but you can make yogurt using this method in between eight to 10 hours and it'll work out just fine. The longer you incubate, the more good probiotics are created and the less lactose you have in your milk. That's why we recommend a 24 hour incubation time. Regarding starters, today we use store-bought Greek plain yogurt, but there are powdered starters that you can use as well. Head on over to our recipe blog at lavelli.com and check out our blog post on all the different types of starters that we recommend in the Lavelli Pure Yogurt Maker. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular healthy Lavelli life recipes. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.